sketch the graphs for the following equations. So we have equation A, B, and C, three different lines. So let's take the A. This is the equation of a line for the A. So now you start off with a number. This is the y-intercept, and this is the slope. Once the y is by itself, this is the slope, this is the y-intercept. So you first plot the first point using the y-intercept. Y-intercept means the point on the y-axis. So they're telling us where this point is, is that y equal 9. So you move up to 9. Now that you're there, without coming back, you use the slope information. And remember, slope is rise over run or change of y over change of x. So this is y information and this is x information. So from this point, I go negative 9. So yeah, I go down 9 units. That puts me back in the origin. Then using the denominator of the slope, the 2, this is x information, I move positive 2 in the x-axis. So from here, I move two spaces over. Now I have the two points, and all you need are two points to define a unique line. Join those two points, and you have your line. So this is the line for this equation. Here is y equal 2. Now notice this one doesn't have an x. It's just y equal 2. So see this as a line at the level y equal 2. So this is a certain y, a certain y, a certain y. This is y equal 2. So this is the line, a horizontal line, going through y equal 2. So when you just have a y and no x, have a y equal a constant, it's always going to be a horizontal line. And then C, notice this form. This is y equal negative 3x plus 9. That was like A. This is the slope, and this is the y-intercept. So notice you always start with the y-intercept, and that's a point on the y-axis. So you go up all the way to 9. And then it tells us, remember, this is slope, rise over run. So in this case, the run is a 1. Just imagine there was a division here and then a 1. So this is negative 3. So from the point, the y-intercept location, you go down negative 3. So 3 units down. Down because this is negative. Then the x part of the slope, rise over run, is a 1, positive 1. So from here, move to the right one unit. So that's your second point. I join those two points, and here's your line. So here's the line, and here's its equation.